Hi guys, good day. This is Teacher MJ. And our topic for today class, it's all about arithmetic sequence and series involving variables. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So this is actually requested by one of our followers, our students, and our subscribers. I would like to give thanks and shout out to them. So this answer is for you. So the question here, find the sixth term, the common difference, and the sum of the first six terms. So the first equation is x plus 2. Second equation is 4x minus 1. And the third term, that is 6x minus 2. So the first thing that we need to do right here, class, is we need to find the common difference. And to find the common difference, we need to get the value of x. So to get the value of x, just simply subtract the second term by the first term, the third term by the second term. All right, so let's start 4x minus 1 minus, so you put parenthesis class because this is binomial, x plus 2. All right, so this will be 4x minus 1. Then you, you distribute, because this is binomial, you need to distribute this negative sign. Negative times x, that's negative x. Negative times positive 2, that's negative 2. So combine like terms, for you not to be confused, we will be arranging this one. This will be 4x minus x minus 1 minus 2. And then combine like terms, 4x minus x, that would be 3x, negative 1 minus 2, that's negative 3. So if the signs are the same, simply copy the sign, then add. Okay, so our first equation is, first equation, 3x minus 3. So let's get the second equation for us to equate or to find x. So this will be 6x minus 2 minus this one, minus, so you put parenthesis, 4x minus 1. So this will be 6x minus 2, then you distribute. So this will be negative 4x, negative times positive is negative 4x, negative times negative, that's positive 1. And then combine like terms, so arrange first, so that you will not be confused, 6x minus 4x minus 2 plus 1. Alright, so this will be, okay, so this will be 6x minus 4x, that will be 2x, negative 2 plus 1, so negative 2 plus 1, that would be negative 1. So our second equation is this one, second equation, so this will be our second equation. Now once you get the first equation and the second equation, you can equate this equation. Okay, you can equate this equation. You can write this as 3x minus 3 is equal to 2x minus 1. Alright, so 3x minus 3 is equal to 2x minus 1. So to get the value of x, you isolate x. So you transpose 2 from right to left. And this 3 from left to right. So this will be 3x this is positive 2x, it will be negative 2x equals, so this is negative 3, you transpose this one, it will be positive 3. So copy first, negative 1, negative 1, this is negative, it will be positive 3. Do not forget, class, once you transfer an equation from this equal sign, you always change the sign. So 3x minus 2x, that would be x, negative 1 plus 3, negative 1 plus 3, that's positive 2. So therefore, our x is positive 2. So let me just write here, x is positive 2. Once again, this is not yet our common difference. We just get the value of x. We get the value of x. We really need to get the common difference class because to find the sixth term, we will be using the formula. And the formula, there is a common difference to find. So we get the value of x. So you pause the video class because I will be erasing this one. So we just get the value of x. Then, we will be finding the common difference. Alright, so let me erase this one. So, I hope you get this one class. You pause the video. If you're confused, we just get the value of x. Alright, so next step is we need to get the common difference. Now, sir, how to get the common difference? Simply substitute the value of x from this given equation. So, for number 1, so x plus 2. Okay, sorry, x plus 2 x plus 2 and our x is 2 
So substitute the value of x which, which is 2. So 2 plus 2. So the first term is 4. So this will be 4. And the second term, so substitute the value of x in this given equation. 4x minus 1. So 4x is 2. 4 times 2 minus 1. So 4 times 2 is 8 minus 1. And 8 minus 1 is 7. So therefore, the second term is 7. Next, 6x minus 2. So x is 2. 6 times 2 minus 2. So 6 times 2 is 12. 12 minus 2 is 10. 12 minus 2 is 10. So we have the terms now. 4, 7, and 10. Now to get the common difference, since we already have the numbers alone, Without the variable, simply subtract. So 7 minus 4 is 3. Second term minus the first term, 3. Third term minus the second term, 10 minus 7 is 3. So therefore, the common difference is 3. Alright, so there you have it. The common difference is equals to 3. Now, in this scenario class, we can already find the the sixth term find the sixth term let's find first the sixth term and later on we we will find the, we will be finding the sum all right so find the sixth term so once again in this equation class we substitute the value of x for us to find the terms and for us to get the common difference okay. all right so i hope we get this one class so let me erase this one Alright, so we get the common difference. Now, we will be finding, okay, finding the sixth term of this given equation. So, our answer should have a variable for this given equation. So, the formula of arithmetic, arithmetic sequence, that would be a sub n equals the first term plus n minus 1, quantity n minus 1 times d. So we can use this formula class because we already have the common difference, which is 3. So a sub 6, once again, we are, we are told to find the sixth term. a sub 6 equals the first term is x plus 2 plus our n. n plus is the number of terms. So we're looking for the sixth term. So 6 minus 1, and the common difference is 3. So this will be a sub 6 equals x plus 2 then you simplify this one you copy plus sign first plus 6 minus 1 is 5 so this will be 5 okay 5 times 3 all right so this will be a sub 6 equals so x plus 2 this will be x plus 2 then plus you multiply this one 5 times 3 is 15 all right, we're almost done. So a sub 6, the sixth term will be, so this is x, then 2 plus 15, 2 plus 15 plus, that would be 17. All right, so this will be our a sub 6, or the sixth term. The sixth term class is x plus 17. So sixth term will be, so let me just put it here, a sub 6 equals x plus 17. This will be your equation class. Even if we check this one, let's try to check class. So if this is the third term, our common difference is 3. So once you get the common difference, 7 minus 4 is 3. So the common difference is 3. Positive 3, of course. This is plus 3. 10 minus 7 is positive 3. Now once you, you to get the common difference, of course, you subtract the second term by the first term. 7 minus 4 is 3. 10 minus 7 is 3. Now, to do it reverse, you can also get the number after 10. You can just simply add 10 by 3 because the common difference is 3. Okay, 10 plus 3, that would be 13, right? Because 13 minus 3 is 10. So, 13 plus 3, so 13 plus 3, this will be 16, right? This is our fifth term, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And to get the sixth term plus 3, this will be 19. Right? 16 plus 3, that would be 19. So let's check if we get 19 and our x is 2. So substitute the value of x, which is 2. So 2 plus 17, that is 19. Therefore, this answer is correct. 
this will be our sixth term class. The equation is this one, x plus 17. I hope you get this one class, the equation x plus 17. Alright, so last is we need to find the sum of the first six terms. So if the given equation class is just like this, you are just told to find the, the sum of the six terms. You can do it manually. You can just simply add 4 plus 7 plus 10 plus 13 plus 16 plus 19 and you will get the sum. Okay, you will get the sum. But it will take time, okay, it will take time for you to do it manually. So the thing that we will do is we will be using, you will be using the formula. So we do have the formula class in getting the sum. So let me erase this one. So we will be erasing this one. So you pause the video class because I will be erasing this one. Once again, we have x equals 2, the common difference is 3. And the sixth term will be a6, a sub 6 equals x plus 17. Alright, so let me erase this one. So to get the sum, oh, sorry, I erased the equation. So our equation class a while ago, x plus 2, then 4x minus 1, and 6x, that is 6x minus 2, right? Okay. So to get the sum class, we do have the formula. I hope you know this one class. We had the formula to get the sum. S sub n equals n over 2. Quantity first term plus the sec plus the sec the last term. A sub n plus is the last term, the sixth term that we are told to find. And this one, S sub n equals n over two. Quantity two times the first term plus n minus one times d. Now question class, what's the difference for this two formula? The difference class, if you don't have the value of your sixth term, the last term, you can use this formula. But if you have the value of your last term and your first term, you can just simply use this formula. So we will be using this formula class since we already have our sixth term, which is x plus 17. This is our sixth term class, x plus 17. Alright, so we will be using this formula. This will be s sub n equals n over 2 times quantity a sub 1 plus a sub n. Alright, so let's use the formula to find the sum. So, S sub n. So, S sub n equals, our n class is the number of terms. And our number of terms is 6, right? We're, we're told to find the sum of the 6 terms. So, this will be 6 divided by 2. First term class is this equation, x plus 2. So, x plus 2. Then, the last term is this equation, our 6th term, x plus 17 plus x plus 17. Alright, so this will be, okay, this will be s sub n, this will be s sub n equals 6 divided by 2. You can divide this one, 6 divided by 2, that is 3 times, so combine like terms, because we can arrange if you're, so that you will not be confused. x plus x plus 2 plus 17. So, this will be S sub n equals 3 times, so x plus x is 2x, then 2 plus 17 is 19. Alright, so to get the value of S sub n, the equation, now if you are told to, to add all of the equations to get the sum, without getting the value of x, okay, without getting the value of x, you already have the equations and the teacher will ask you to find the sum of all of the equations together with x. So this will be your answer. 3 times 2x, that is 6x. 3 times 19, so 3 times 19, let me check that. 19 times 3, this will be, 9 times 3 is 27, 7, carry 2. 3 times 2 is, 3 times 2, and oh no, sorry, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5, 57. So plus 57. Alright, so this will be your equation class. The sum of the first six terms. So if you will be adding the equations, okay, this will be the equation. This will be your answer class. If the teacher will ask you to find the sum together with the variables, together with the variable x, 
Therefore, this will be your answer, 6x plus 57. But if the teacher will ask you to find the sum by substituting the value of x, so we will be answering that today. So this will be our answer for the equation. So let's get the sum, substitute the value of x in this equation. So s sub n equals, our x is 2, 6 times 2 plus 57. So our s sub n is, so this will be s sub n equals 6 times 2 plus, that is 12. Okay, 6 times 2, that is 12, plus 57. So the sum equals, the sum of the 6 terms, so let me just write 6, s sub 6. This will be s sub 6, class. s sub 6, the sum of the 6 terms. Okay, this is the sum of the 6 terms, so 12, 57 plus 12, that is 69. Let's try to check, class, with our equation. With the numbers that we equate, if x is 2, this will be our answer for the arithmetic sequence. So let's try to add, if we get 69, 4 plus 7 is 11, plus 10 is 21, 21 plus 13, that's 34, 34 plus 16, let me add that, 34 plus 16, uh, 4 plus 6 is 10, 0 carry 1, 50, and then 50 plus 19, 99, 69. Therefore, our answer is correct, class. By substituting the value of x, which is 2, you get 69. So you can have this two answer, class. If the teacher will ask for the equation of the sum of these equations without getting the value of x, this will be your answer. And if the teacher will ask you to find the sum by substituting the value of x, this will be your answer, 69. And we check that, it's correct. Alright, so that's it, class. That's how you find, you solve the arithmetic sequence and series involving variables. So once again, if you like this video, do not forget to subscribe. You share it to your friends class and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ and you have a great day. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.